This video lesson is over the supply curve. When we talk about the supply curve, we refer to producers. Different quantities that firms are willing and able to produce at different prices. Think of cost. It will cost firms money to produce goods and services. Similar to our demand graph, we have price, we have quantity, and this time we have an upward sloping supply curve. We have S representing supply, and we have an equilibrium point, meaning the middle point for price and quantity. This will be our starting point for our supply graphs. Associate price with cost when we are talking about the supply curve. Let's say, for example, a firm wants to produce more of a good or service. So they want to increase their production. In order to increase their production, it will cost the firm more money. Associate price with cost. So, if we want to move our production, our quantity, to the right, we want to increase it. Bring this up to our supply curve. It's going to cost the firm more money. So associate price with cost. Price will go up, meaning costs will also increase in order to increase the quantity supplied of a good. So remember with the supply curve, we associate price with costs of production. Let's say if a firm chooses to produce less of a good, so we are moving to the left. If a firm is going to produce less, we're moving to the left. That means that the firm's price, meaning costs, will also decrease. So, if price, meaning our costs, are going down decreasing, the quantity supplied of goods and or services will also decrease. There is a difference between a change in quantity supplied and an overall change in supply. A change in supply means we are shifting the supply curve. There are many factors that can shift the supply curve. One factor would be a change in input prices. By input, we mean costs of production. And this would also include an increase or decrease in the resources available to produce goods or services. Let's say, for example, the costs of production increased, meaning they are moving this way. Because resources available to produce goods and or services are becoming scarce. Now, if prices are going up, that means a business costs will also increase. Since the cost will increase, the quantity, meaning the number of workers employed, will decrease, and also the quantity supplied of goods will also decrease. So what happens to our supply curve? The supply curve is going to move to the left. We will label this supply curve 1. We know that our prices are going to increase. And the quantity quantity 
quantity supplied of workers and just overall quantity supplied of goods will also decrease. So we call this a decrease in supply. This is a leftward shift. Prices increase. Quantity will decrease. Let's say that the costs of production decrease because resources available to produce goods and or services are plentiful and not scarce at this present moment. Well, remember, if costs are going down, that means that prices are also going down. And since the costs will decrease, the quantity supplied of workers and quantity supplied of goods and services will also increase. So what we have here is an entirely new supply curve and this is referred to as an increase in the supply curve. We move from S to S1. This is known as a rightward shift in supply. Quantity will increase when costs of production prices will decrease. Increase in supply, a rightward shift. Costs are down, quantity will increase.